little kitchen boy. I'm hungry. What's up everybody and welcome back to Tudo Kitchen. Today, we're gonna to be making some buffalo chicken queso tacos. We're gonna start off by seasoning some chicken tenderloins with some salt. Next, we're gonna use a little bit of black pepper. I like to use some granulated garlic here. Also adobo seasoning. As well as some cayenne pepper some paprika also a little bit of Cajun seasoning and lastly I'm using some chili spice um, like the kind that you would use to make chili that comes in a pack all right let's go ahead and use some oil here just because we're creating a marinade mix this all up um, you can use you know tongs or something but listen we're getting right in this you know how we do. All right, I have some minced up garlic and onions here. You don't have to use red onions. I just happen to have some red onions on hand, but you can just basically, you need to use garlic and onion here. Add a little bit more oil so we can create our marinade again. Again, we're mixing this all up. And this is the reason why I'm using my hands. I don't like to use my hands. For certain things but you know and i ran out of gloves but just wash your hands people all right so because we marinated our chicken i'm just going ahead and put the chicken in the in a bag um, of some sort some sort of glad bag or something honestly uh you don't have to use um you don't have to use a ziploc bag you can just basically just use saran wrap or something or just cover your lid tightly All right, so I'm gonna let this marinate for 24 hours. And after that, look at what we have here. All right, now again, I let my chicken marinate for 24 hours, but you can let yours marinate for, you know, at least four. And after that, you'll have a pretty chicken. Um, go ahead and heat up a cast iron pan uh, with some oil, of course, and just lay out all of your chicken because we're gonna be searing it. Um, now, if you can't fit it all in like a pan, I barely could fit it all in there, but it's okay. Um, Cause I'm not being as strict about like my sear marks and stuff as much because I'm gonna be shredding the chicken. But yeah, just try to fit them in there as closely as you can. The smell on this chicken is amazing. I just gotta let you know that. All right, after about three to four minutes, um, on one side, you're gonna go ahead and flip it to the other side. And now mind you, my cast iron pan was on basically high, just about high, so you know, it's, it's getting a nice little sear mark on there. I kind of flip it again, you know, just, just to keep them going. Um, at this point though, to be honest with you, because they're tenderloins, they're basically pretty much getting cooked like right here, but that's okay though. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little chicken stock to the pan. Um, just use enough just to cover the chicken. All right, now I have some sofrito. Um, you can make your own or you can buy a store-bought brand. Next, I am using some hot sauce. Um, you can use about a fourth cup, fourth to a half cup of hot sauce. Um, I also have some dried chili uh, peppers that I cut. I got rid of all the seeds. And lastly, I'm using some sriracha. All right, and I'm also using some chili paste. Um, if you can't find chili pepper paste, then tomato paste should deal, do okay, to be honest with you. Um, or you can just omit it at a, omit it completely. Um, but next, just give it a stir. Um, and cover it with a lid or aluminum foil, whatever you got. And after about an hour, you will have a amazing bubbling simmered. Oh man, like 
And now mind you, I did simmer the chicken. So don't, you know, after you, you cover it, you want to simmer it. And yeah, move all your chicken to a bowl. And you, as you can see, it was kind of falling apart as I was pulling it out of the bowl. I mean, out of the pan into the bowl. Um, but that's what you want because that lets you know it's easy to shred. All right. And as you can see, all the red oil has completely floated to the top of this uh, mixture in the pan. And we're going to use that. So don't get rid of that just yet. All right. Now with a fork or a potato masher, if you have one, um, just go ahead and start mashing down your uh, shredded chicken. You can do this by hand. But listen, I did this when it was really hot. So you don't want to do that. Um, so, yeah, I'm making some buffalo sauce now. Um, that we're going to go ahead and throw inside of our um, inside of our chicken. So I have some butter here and I'm adding some of that red oil to the pan. All right. After I add that red oil, I'm going to add a little bit more hot sauce. Now, this isn't a hot, 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 hot sauce because we put so many other spices in. It's no need to make one. We're just using flavor here. So we're going to go ahead and add that in there. This is the buffalo aspect of these buffalo chicken case of tacos, guys. So don't omit this step at all. All right. And as you can see, you see how shredded my chicken is. That was all from a fork. Again, a potato masher or by hand, but it will be really hot if you do it by hand. Um, God bless your fingers if you decide to do it. I'm not stopping you. I think you're a champion if you can. All right. Go ahead and give that a little taste because, you know, now, so we're going to take some more of that red oil. We're going to put that in the pan because we want to go ahead and give our uh, our tortillas some color. And I saw this on YouTube. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and give this a nice little color step. I love that. I, I love what this does. It's like it's really cool. It smells nice. It looks nice. It's making use of all the stuff that we've already cooked. So let's start doing that. Look at that. So now we're going to go ahead and with our tortilla, we're gonna add some cheese in there. I'm using Monterey Jack cheese. Um, you can use Colby Jack, whatever. Um, well, I'm using Monterey Jack with a bit of sharp cheddar. Um, also, I'm gonna go ahead and take our shredded chicken, put it in there. I like to put it on one side, but I also like to spread the cheese out on, on the full tortilla. So when I flip it, it's on both the top and the bottom, as you can see. Go ahead and get that press down with some sort of spatula and honestly afterwards um, when you flip it you should get some nice caramelization on that and that's because you know we're using or you reusing the fats from what we cooked with the sugars from the hot sauce all types of things so yes it's working all righty once that's done we're gonna go ahead and take that and move it to our pan now I have some chipotle mayo. I mean, some chipotle ranch back there that I made. Um, yeah. Enjoy guys.